Hey, what's up guys? Uh, welcome back to the Sub2 Club channel. Today we have Christian Burke with this uh, amazing Mustang. Uh, before we get into the car in a little bit, can you tell me a little bit about yourself? A little bit about me. Um, well, I work in the automotive industry, yeah. so um, I deal with cars and, uh, all, and track cars also every single day. Yeah. And um, since a kid, I've been in love with uh, road racing. Um, believe it or not, about 10 years ago, I was road racing an ISF when it first came oh, out. Really? Okay. And uh, that's the bug that really started with me was the ISF yeah. and kept going from there. And I, you know, I took a little bit of time off because we had children. And um, recently I'm uh, a partner at a Ford dealership and what better car to drive at the track is uh, a Ford Mustang. Well, you mentioned ISF. How did you even get into the track, your, your first track event? So the car handled pretty well from yeah, the factory. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bug that really got me is that when I purchased that car, um, the gentleman who was the general sales manager at the time, uh, his name is Mark Marchant, okay. good friend of mine, okay. uh, is a semi-pro or a pro race car driver awesome. back when he was in England. And when he gave me a ride in that car, um, <laughs> well, we'll just say that it was a ride of my life yeah. and that's the bug that really just set me off on that car. That's when I went off the deep end and started to really get into it. Previous to that, I had Honda Civic and I kind of did a little bit of road racing. Everybody knows GMR and yeah. everybody knows, you know, the canyons and stuff like that. I did that stuff, but I never went to that level of going to the track. Okay. And that's when the ISF, I built that. And that was a platform that no one was fixing up at the right. time. It was so new. People were trying to twin turbo it, and I was like, no, I wanted to make it handle. Yeah, yeah. It was difficult, yeah. and I worked with a lot of people, KW being one of them, and, and uh, Stop Tech Brakes, and all these people just to make it work, and it was a great platform, but then kids came along, yeah, so yeah. life changed for a little period of time. So. so I know you have two of these cars. Yes. Um, so tell me about this particular car uh, we're looking at. So this, what year is it? this is a 2019 GT 350R is okay. where it started off with. And um, it has some tasteful mods. Uh, it would have been bone stock if I didn't take too long with my race car build. Uh, but I had an itch to drive something. Meanwhile, that car was getting built. Yeah. Like I said in the beginning, going to the track is, is probably my favorite part rather than driving's a great thing, but just meeting everybody oh, yeah. and talking with everybody yeah. and making yeah. friends and, and yeah. sharing stories is, is so, so meaningful to me. And yeah. I get these, yeah. all, these great memories and all this other stuff. And hey, did you hear about this? And stuff like that. That's what means so much to me. I get it. We go there to, to go PB and try uh -huh. to do the best we can. And I, that's super important. But for me, the, one of the biggest is uh, making friends, making friends yeah. you know? And I have made, countless amount of friends by going to the track um, as far as and not even just friends customers too yeah, you know yeah, yeah. being there and being able to support a person that didn't know anything was going on with their car uh -huh. and being able to go over there and go hey I heard you have a Ford I see it wasn't running right is there anything I could do I usually have a fleet service oh, or track okay. support on site with me when I go to the track or a technician with me I want everybody to enjoy yeah. the experience at the yeah. track and if I can do anything to get their car back on that road yeah. or the track right away so they can finish out their day I will be there I'll do everything I can all right we're, we're gonna start with the engine first uh, on this amazing car so the engine's pretty much stock. Uh, I did do an air filter cover. The car is usually open because it has a sealed hood. Mm -hmm. But I put a GT500 hood on this car, so oh, yeah. I sealed the intake. Um, other than that, it has the MCS, two ways, reservoirs, uh, it's got camber plates. Um, it's pretty much what the motor has. Nothing, uh, nothing crazy on it. Um, we got the aero that Archetype Racing makes amazing aero that's uh, super strong. Uh -huh. um, I mean, absolutely no no movement on the on the splitter. Um, Was there a frame that went in? Yeah, so these are all chassis mounted uh, splitter rods, okay. which goes all the way back to the chassis on the bottom. Okay. Uh, they use a um, material thing. It's called M. 2CP or MC2P, don't catch, don't uh, quote me on that. Uh, this is a compacted carbon 
material. Okay. I think it started off at 12 inches and crushed. Oh, wow. Two million pounds or something like that. And it literally is bulletproof. Okay. I mean, I have been sent videos from the maker of cars hit, you know, walls and destroyed a bunch of stuff. And the splitter was still in one piece and installed right back on the car. So um, it has delignate pucks on the bottom for scraping. If you get down low, you'll see all the hardened wood plates on the bottom um, that are uh, extremely light, but extremely strong. Um, that's as far as the splitter. Okay. It's got their dive planes that they make. Okay. Um, from, uh, archetype racing. Moving on to signature wheels. I love signature wheels on this car. Um, Terrence makes some crazy offsets for me. Mm -hmm. I'm super crazy on the offsets. This, I won't even say the offset on this, but it's, we'll just say it won't fit on most cars. I'm, I'm pretty sure about that. <laughs> I run an 11 and a half wheel, 325 square, 3R. Gyro disc brakes with the um, Ferrota DeSunos for pads, front and rear. Okay. Um, another archetype racing you got the side splitters keeping the air mm -hmm. going down the side that's all carbon as well nice stock rotors in the rear i kept the stock rotors upgraded the pads mm -hmm. um stock rotors were fine when those are gone yeah. this will go on but for now Looks they like do. it's a two-piece. <clears throat> this is aluminum. Yes. Yeah, so like, yeah. this is this rotor is called a pinned rotor. Mm -hmm. um, there's pins that get hammered through the top into the uh, hat that hold on the uh, the rotor. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the design. Um, I think a lot of cars are going to that design now. Yeah. Helps with heat. Um, moving to the back. Um, well, we could see my huge swan neck. <laughs> um, archetype racing, and you'll see it had it all done on the bottom. Um, graphics. That that wing is a forged carbon wing. Yeah, it looks, looks very distinctive and cool. Um, all machined materials. Wow. It's all got a custom star bit on this side for setting um, degree. Mm -hmm. If you look closely on this side, you'll see all the degree markers okay. so you can uh, set the degree on the wing rather than trying to figure it all out yeah um, that's a degree marker and uh, their diffuser this is like their street version diffuser that's a full carbon uh -huh. uh, diffuser as well um, works works really well uh, like I said I took it out the other day to button willow uh, wasn't trying to break any records mm -hmm, but just mm -hmm. fill the car out a little bit and give some ride-alongs and I will say that the the little bits of arrow that got added to the car you could feel it right i could feel it yeah yeah um i love it so that's for Good. the diffuser Good. uh anderson composites i just changed this out to carbon um anderson's composites hood as well hood, too yeah. um let's see as far as that there's really not much more in there uh inside the vehicle driver side has a seat passenger side is just the stock R seat. Mm -hmm. um, I'm taking a seat out of my other car to put in there, so these will both be proper Recaros. I just <laughs> I don't really give ride-alongs much, right. but um, I need to switch it out. That's a Recaro Profi SPG. Um, I I love that. I love that seat. Fits really well. Yeah. It's kind of like my Recaro Pro Racer without yeah, the yeah, halos. Yeah. Um, that's about it. Little carbon pieces. Uh, Catalyst, I have a catalyst in there. Yes, I, uh, well, I'm always looking to better my stuff. <laughs> this car runs Catalyst. My other car runs AIM okay. telemetry um, with their full dash stuff for GPS. This is just, like I said, this is a weekend car. <laughs> maybe go to the track, maybe go to the canyon. So I don't need anything super crazy in there. So it's super easy to set up, super easy to take out. I'm not trying to, you know, go crazy with it so other than that it's got a uh, a CMS uh, roll cage awesome. I had it uh, paint matched to the car nice, orange nice. fury yeah so that matches the car um, 
Um, in stock form, you said uh, this car doesn't come with the interior. So, so it comes with a rear seat delete. Okay. So it has like a like a like form a tray in the okay. back. Plastic? Uh, it's carpeted formed. Oh, cool. Um, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this car, I've kept every stock part for it. Uh -huh. And um, I didn't want to drill or trim or change anything on that, right. on that rear seat. So I just left it out. Um, I didn't want to, like I said, maybe one day I'll switch it back to stock. I highly doubt it. But <laughs> this car, I told myself I was going to keep all the factory stuff for it. Full so. interior, still doing 52 at Button Willow. That's pretty amazing. What is uh, this thing right here? So, um, when you have no seat in the back mm -hmm. and you run a race seat, mm -hmm. uh, the car produces a crazy amount of buffeting. Yeah. Uh, kind of like the A90 mm -hmm. uh, Supra. Yeah. It's the buffeting so bad, uh, you can't even see. Uh huh. It's uh, after like about 110 miles an hour, my vision, uh, good case was uh, Auto Club Speed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I literally can't <laughs> see anything at that point. My, my head is shaking so bad. Yeah. I had to come up with something. So I submitted some stuff to Archetype Racing. Uh -huh. There's a lot of R&D uh -huh. and, and 3D printing. And I had these, I don't know what you want to call them, air deflectors okay. uh, made for uh, this um, uh, mirror piece. Mm -hmm. And it fixed everything. Wow. So um, just kicked the air out. You know, running, uh, running most of these uh, track days, they require you to have your windows down. Right. So this is just helping me um as a stock car as well as a stock car no okay. does not affect it okay it has something to do with and i only know this is because the race car when i took i put a race seat there mm -hmm. and i took the back seat out mm -hmm. it happened yeah when i took this out on the track stock it didn't happen as soon as i put a race seat in the front and i took the back piece out mm -hmm. it happened again mm -hmm. i don't know if it's something to do with the air going yeah, in. yeah 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 i don't know all that yeah. all i know is that when that happened it started okay it's just hell it's just bonded on with uh bhb double-sided tape and well it hasn't moved it's been there for i don't know a couple months that is cool so the engine is just exhaust pretty much exhaust is bone stock oh exhaust is stock too everything wow. on this tour, the, the only this exhaust is different because it's an R. I'll okay, it's a okay. bone stock exhaust. If you bought an R, this is what you get. Christian, uh, we'll, we'll just go over some of the questions. What does Sub 2 mean to you? Um, it's a benchmark for a lot of people and where they need to get their car at. And I'm highly competitive in mm -hmm. anything I do in sports. And um, it was always, you know, it's tough to get it, get your car there to be the two minutes, depending on how your setup is. And uh, it means a lot because um, it is a standard, pretty much benchmark if you are Sub 2 at button willow you you're a decent driver you're oh fast, yeah you know? yeah yeah um 
and, and, and it's uh, it, it was a lot of homework and a lot of uh, you know seat time. Yeah. Um, but you know, I I've, I've gotten there, and um, it's fun. And you know, now working on the sub fifty. Yeah. Um, You're almost there, right? Yeah, uh, it's close. I yeah. think the race car, I'll I'll be able to do that myself. Um, I'm going to be there a lot, and uh, that is my goal um, with that car for myself. Um, but it's a uh, it's a goal to get close to the 40s, low 40s yeah. in that car. Oh, probably that would be amazing. Driving it. Um, not anytime soon. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but that is a goal for that car. That's what I built it for. But sub sub two means a lot to me because that track means so much to me. I absolutely love that track. It sucks that it's so far, but I'm willing to make the drive. Uh, what things about life do you learn through cars? Um, through cars. Well, I learned a lot that everybody's budget's different, mm -hmm. and to respect everybody, no matter what their budget is, and uh, and to work with those that are don't have the budget, mm -hmm. to encourage them, and to uh, to work with them and to, to build them up. Um, just because someone has a better car, a better budget, doesn't mean someone's not as important. Someone's not as right. you know. It's not about that. Um, the car community is, for me, is whatever I can do to help them to enjoy their car, mm -hmm. regardless if it's a base Mustang, a Focus. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Right, um, thank you so much for uh, showing your car, Christian. Um, thank you, and, Peter. And what's crazy is this is his backup spare. Yeah, <laughs> spare car. That he built just during the time of uh, the absence of his real race car, and I can't wait to come back to shoot your real race car. Any final words that, that you want to say to the audience? No, I just want to make sure that everybody keeps the car community, the track community, just everybody having a good time, and always look out for the others that are not having the best of days at the track to see what we can do to, you know, make them feel a little bit better. Yeah. I mean. Uh, the track's always a high anxiety type of thing, and if anybody can do anything to make their feel better after they've had an accident and encourage them and work with them, uh, I think that's always important to me, you know. So, track's not about always ourselves, so.